the, um, the first car that Alfa produced after they were purchased by Fiat. Um, and some versions of this car, in fact, most versions of this car, people didn't like that much because it was a change for Alfa. Instead of being rear wheel drive, they switched to front wheel drive and people felt that that was kind of a, a betrayal of the Alfa DNA. This version though uh, is all wheel drive, uh, which doesn't have that problem. Uh, it's got a two, two, uh, a two liter turbo engine, it makes about 190 horsepower for a top speed of about 140 miles an hour. Um, it was also appeared in a few different racing series, or at least a, a version of it did. In fact, I'll jump over to the festival to, uh, to talk about that a little more. Um, because it appeared in British touring cars and I think the Italian touring cars, that meant that it had to be homologated, so they had to make a uh, road legal version of the, the racing car. Uh, and because of that, it has a, cool, a couple of really awesome body kits. Um, so you can jump in here. So if you bought the car uh, in one of these homologated versions of it, it would have come looking pretty much like you see here. Um, and then in a separate box, they would have handed you uh, a body kit um, that you could then go and have it attached to yourself. Um, so I think that is the, that's the Italian one, isn't it? That's the uh, separate that's cool. Italian touring cars. Is that one? It's got a really big splitter on the front, a really gnarly looking splitter on the back, like a little uh, box around the exhaust as that's well. So cool. Um, for the BTCC, it was this one, I believe, which again, looks pretty darn cool. Um, you stick a wing on there as well. Again, choice of wings. I think it's that one that goes with this kit. Um, I'll go buy it. Um, yeah. Nice little, nice little bump in performance there, and the car suddenly looks a heck of, heck of a lot cooler. Looks really cool, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like a new car. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, that is just great how some, sometimes the body kits can just can be completely transformative. Uh, they can take a yeah. car that looks like a you know, kind of reason, reasonably performant executive saloon car that you might see out on the road to uh, an actual track beast. Yeah. Um, so what was it, 75 that we did in the Fiat? But, um, I, you'll be able to yeah. eat that now, well, I reckon. 76. Yeah, we'll be 75 before we even Let's get be to fair. <laughs> <laughs> you did upgrade it, yeah. <laughs> Oh, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. 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 Get Not quite. 95, <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, where do you unlock this one, Dave? I, I forget, is it spring? Uh, it is spring, yes, 50%. 50% in spring gets you the, the Alpha 155, along with those body kits. Again, awesome car, um, really. Really, really great engine, really, really nice yeah. for, its, for its time as well. You know, that north to 16 around about six seconds, top speed of 140. You know, pretty, pretty, pretty decent performing car to think that it came out in like 92. So, yeah. yeah. I don't, unless you, you know, like me, you'd think the 90s were just 10 years ago still. But what? Don't tell me that they weren't, Leah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, right, and finally, as promised, we have the Hoonigan Bronco. 